So I've been running an Umbral full node here for about two years now. And recently when I started to log into my Umbral, I was getting this message. Let's see if when I log in this time, I get the same message. Yeah, so here it is. It took a couple seconds to come up here, but it's basically replace your micro SD card. It looks like the micro SD card in your Raspberry Pi could fail soon. Micro SD cards are prone to wear and tear over time, but don't worry, Umbral stores all your data on the external USB drive. So basically what does this mean? It sounds like all of the data for our node will be stored on the external USB drive and that all we have to do is replace the micro SD card. So I've got another micro SD card here. You probably can't see it. It's not gonna focus on the camera because it's so small, but basically I'm gonna be following these five steps that it shows you here and giving you guys a video tutorial because I'm imagining that everyone that went through my original tutorial on how to set up an Umbral role is probably getting these replace your micro SD card issues also. And so I just want to show you the process of how to fix this for yourself. Real quick, guys, before we jump into this video, the first thing that you really want to do before you go about resetting your whole Umbral operating system is if you have this available and if you still can access your Lightning node, I recommend going to your Lightning node and then clicking on these three dots up here and clicking on View Secret Words. Once you click on this button, it's going to show you your 24 word seed phrase to your Umbral wallet. And it's really important that you have that backed up somewhere so that in case any of these steps that we do later on in the video go wrong, that you can still recover your wallet. That being said, if for some reason you're unable to access this Lightning Node app. I still had full access to my Bitcoin wallet and my Lightning wallet and all of the Satoshis in both of those wallets when I went through with this full process end to end. And so while you don't absolutely have to view your secret words and write them down, I really recommend that you do. And obviously it's better to be safe than sorry. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my Raspberry Pi and continue with this tutorial. All right guys, so basically all I did here was I unscrewed the screws there at the bottom of the Raspberry Pi and then I just kind of flip it over and now we've got the actual Raspberry Pi clean out of the case. And so here is the little micro SD card that Umbrella is saying is no longer good. So I'm gonna put that to the side. And now I've got my new micro SD card that I'm going to pop into a converter and then throw that in my Mac. So I have the steps that Umbral is giving us here on the left, and then I have just plugged in my fresh SD card into my desktop computer. And if you click this Umbral OS, whatever the latest OS version is, it's gonna take you to umbral.com and you'll probably go through these installation steps that I have up here. It's recommending a 16 plus gigabyte micro SD card. And if you click this, it'll have an Amazon link for you and I'll have those Amazon links for you also down in the description. Right now, as you can see, I'm using a 128 gigabyte SD card because it's the only SD card that I have available. And so if we just go ahead and find follow these steps that are available on umbral.com. We'll see that we have our materials. We need to download Umbral OS, so we can go ahead and do this. And we'll just store that on our desktops. And then next we need to download Belena Etcher. You'll probably already have this if you've done this on the same computer before, because this was the software that we previously used to flash Umbral onto our SD card. So you can go ahead and download this if you don't have it. Next, we're going to plug our micro SD cards into our computer, which we've already done. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and flash Umbral OS. So let's go ahead and open Belena Etcher. So we have Belena Etcher up here and we're going to flash the downloaded Umbral OS zip file that we just downloaded onto the micro SD cards. So let's say flash from file and then we'll navigate to our desktops where we just downloaded the newest Umbral OS and we'll click on open. Next we'll select target here and we'll click on SD card. You'll see I have the 128 gigabyte SD card there. It'll be interesting to see if this lasts any longer than the last one that I had, which was a 32 gigabyte card. So we'll go ahead and do this and then we'll click on flash. It says, warning, you're about to erase an unusually large drive. So maybe if you're doing this with a 32 gigabyte card, you're not going to have any issues. I wouldn't recommend doing this with a 128 gigabyte card, just because like opportunity cost of why use a 128 gigabyte card when you could use a 32, but this is all I have right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, I'm sure. So now we're decompressing and we are flashing the Umbral software onto our SD cards. So now it's on to the validating step. Probably been here about five minutes so far. And the flash is completed. So let's go ahead and close out of Belena Etcher and we can move on to the next step here. So it's saying insert our micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi. So now we can go ahead and unplug our micro SD cards and I'm going to plug this back into the Raspberry Pi. My Raspberry Pi, the micro SD card slot is here on the bottom. So that should be good and plugged in. Sorry if we're out of focus here. And now this was the problem. It took me forever to figure out how to do this last time. I think I slid it in from the side. You wanna line up this hole here with this 
little corresponding thing on the side of the Raspberry Pi. And if you do just slide it in from the side, you can see that I've, uh, it's so out of focus. When you slide it in from the side, this little piece will come through that hole and that will line up actually the rest of the ports on the front. And so you can see like the ethernet is perfectly exposed and the USBs are perfectly exposed. So you just wanna make sure that, that hole on the side gets filled with this little rubbery tip thing from the Raspberry Pi and you should be good to go. And actually, depending on your case, you'll have to put this in first before you put in your SD card because like my case here, there's a little blocker thing that's stopping me from putting you know, the case on when there's an SD card inside. So you want to, in my case, in my case's case, put the case on first and then we'll slide the SD card on after. So you should have all your screws ready to go and you just screw it together. Isn't this exciting? Content. So once you've put the back of the case on there, you should be good to take the SD card and just sort of slip it in the side here. And mine doesn't click or anything, but once it's flush, you should see that it is good to go. So there's your Raspberry Pi in its case. All the materials to all of this stuff is gonna be down in the description. So this is a video of me here plugging back in my Raspberry Pi. I'm plugging back in the hard drive, the ethernet to my router, and then finally the power to the Raspberry Pi. And once you have that all set up, you should just be able to like sit this here. You should see some lights turn on. I've got a red light there and a blue light for my hard drive and you should be good to go. And it looks like that was it. So let's go ahead and close this and just head over to umbral.local. So let's refresh this page. And it did take about three minutes here, but we are seeing finally the umbral splash screen with a message telling us that the umbral is restarting. So we're getting a new screen here that says starting new containers, which probably shows up after you've flashed a fresh instance of the umbral OS onto a new SD card saying, please do not refresh this page or turn off the umbral while the update is in progress. So here we have update successful, successfully installed umbral 0.5.3. Now, if we log back in, I'm expecting that we'll see all of the same apps there and I'm expecting that they will have to download maybe for the first time. Yep, so they're all downloading for the first time, but this is the same group of apps that I had before I did this transfer process. And I'm also hoping and uh, expecting that all the Bitcoin that was in this Bitcoin core and lightning node that all that Bitcoin is actually still there. I guess if it's not, you know, jokes on me, but we'll see. All right, so it's telling me that my lightning node can only come up once my Bitcoin node has fully finished syncing. I'm about, you know, 99.5% of the way synced. This node hasn't been up for a while because the SD card has been a problem for probably months now. And so it still needs to sync that other half a percent of blocks, which might take a while. So I will come back to you once this Bitcoin node is fully synced and we can see what is going on with my lightning node. All right, so it took about three hours for my Bitcoin node to get fully synced up here. If we look back at the Bitcoin node, we can see that it is now fully synchronized. And so now moment of truth, if we go to the umbral lightning node, we can see are all of my Satoshis still there? And it looks like, yes, they are. So this should confirm for everyone that you don't actually have to go through the exercise of you know looking up your secret words and doing all of that stuff if you go through a clean installation of Umbral like we did in this video. But I would encourage you to follow those steps that we did at the beginning because it's better to be safe than sorry. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Umbral is a great software, but it is running on you know most of the time a Raspberry Pi. And those are not always the most reliable devices as we've seen sort of the whole point of this video. Let me know down in the comments if you felt this helpful and check out these videos over here to learn more about Umbral. I love you all. See you next week. Whip.